Today we, we heard a lot of, you know, you know, the introduction about ONF project like UPEN project, Shiba project, and so on. So actually NTT group is actively enjoying all of this project. But today, my presentation, I will use this time, time slot to introduce, you know, ODTN, a different project which is focused on the transport network. So today I would like to focus on the expectation and activities for open and uh, disaggregated transport network. Okay. So, so this picture actually shows the current uh, status about the network device in transport domain and our expectations is in the future. So currently what, what is the situation is that, you know, all the device is vertically integrated and implemented by a single vendor. And uh, moreover, the northbound interface is also vendor specific. The vendor defined the data, uh, data model, the vendor defined the, the interfaces. So as a result, the, is, is the transport uh, network controller is also made by the single vendor. So we are totally locked by the single vendor. So what we are expecting is the totally disaggregate uh, system architecture. So first of all, the proposal here is, you know, to disaggregate the device. So currently the device is in a black box. So we would like to make a device disaggregated so more and more device vendor can join and participate in ecosystems to help, you know, developing their, the, the devices in a lower cost. And also on the in interface perspective, we are expecting, you know, more and more open interface APIs and data models appear so that you know, the third party uh, controller and even the open source controller will come into the place and in order to activate the whole community. So this picture actually, uh, in, a, in a very brief way, uh, introduced the, our current uh, assistances inside our company. So yesterday I had a talk about the the NFE thing, so which is actually located here. So we deployed NFE on premises, like you know UCP. Many people are discussing about UP, UCP things, and also deployed NFE in the each cloud, cloud, and so on. But also I mentioned in the yesterday's talk, a very important point is the network that connecting the each cloud. So this comes to today's topic is the inter-network, inter-DC network that based on the transport network. So we have an OSS end to end orchestrator, <coughs> NFE SD1 controller, and also the controller for network, uh, the transport network. So NFE, we know we have already have lots of flexibility and so on, but in the transport domain, we don't have such flexibility at the current moment, so that's what the purpose of this project is. So we have already seen lots of effort in different, you know, open source communities. So this is just an example of the whole picture, such as uh, we have an open line system. So that is defined in the telecom infra project, the TIP. I th think probably we have some, already have some uh, talks here in this conference about TIP. So we have already have some, you know, activities here. And also the o open config, uh, activities is that led by Google and they use these interfaces to you know control the layer one device, layer two device, and layer three device. And last but not least is the transport API. We call it TAPI API. So this is mainly led by ONF. So this is this API is mainly used for defining the, the northbound interface of the SDN controller and also the southbound interface uh, con on the controller that directly interfacing with the devices. So we have lots of, we have already have lots of, you know, open source communities is actually worldwide. So we have lots of activities here, but as I, as we understand that, you know, the existing community are only focused on the specific domain as showed in the left picture. 
like you know some somebody like uh, Tapi, they focus on the open source bound interface, and regarding to the open source bound inf interface, we have open config, we have open Rodan, and regarding to the device, we have open line system. So we have lots of ad hoc efforts in this area. But why not aggregate them together to create an end-to-end -end solution and provide to the customer? So this comes to the background of this project. So to build a reference implementation by using those community efforts to create an end-to-end -end solution. That's the background. So here comes to the, the reference, the, 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 the general design behind the, the, this project. So this is the general architecture. So we have the, first of all, um, let's explain a little bit from, from below to the up. So we have the device layer. So we have lots of, you know, as, as I mentioned, we, we want to create aggregated device. So we separate transponder with other components. So everything is disaggregated. And in different uh, community, we have different, you know, device was born, like, you know, as I explained in TIP, we have, you know, open line systems is that in the discussion in other community, in other uh, open source body, we have other devices coming. So I think this is one ecosystem is that we have, have some progress. And also in the center, we have the ODTN controller, which is mainly based on the ONOS that is developing, that is being de developed by uh, ONF. And between these two, two big ecosystem, we, we use open uh, interface. Like I mentioned just now, open config to, you know, to control the transponder and DTAP to control the LA, uh, OLS controller and so on. And on the open source, on the open source SD1 controller, uh, SDN controller, we create lots of applications like optical telemetry application, power management application, protection restor restoration application, uh, and so on. Lots of application can be, you know, made in house even by our our engineers inside the company to create more applications. And also, the northbound face interface is also standardized. You know, we use the TAPI interfaces for the northbound interfaces for open. For, for, the SD1, for the SDN controller. So here comes to the, the members who is joining this uh, project, who is, act, uh, who is actively uh, contributing to this project. So you can, we can see that you know, the project is led by main operators such as China Unicom, Comcast, NTT, Telefony, Current Team. So we have five major operators that is leading this project. And also we have a very healthy uh, vendor community. So we have like some traditional vendor community like Sienna, Nokia, NEC, Juniper. And also we have some newcomer like, you know, HCall and so on. So this is the vendor supply chain communities is now join this project. So this slide summarizes the current, you know, the progress that we have achieved so far. So we can say, you can see here, we start the project in the beginning of the 2018, and you know we have a phase one. We defined it as phase one, phase 1.5, and phase two, 2.0. So in phase uh, phase one, we are focusing on only P2P connections is only focused on the transponder. So this is, this have already been done as I showed here. So the implementation test for transponder provisioning with open config. So this is already done. So now what we are doing is that we are in the middle of the phase uh, 1.5. So we are getting, we are not only for the transporter, we are adding new system like ORFT to the system. So in this way, we are implementing TAPI and open configure and to, you know, to control the, the, the OL, OLS systems. So we are still ongoing for these activities. 
So what would be the next step? So the next step will be, we will first of all create, you know, applications is above ONOS. So like, you know, pass, computation, configuration, features, and so on. So this is the application system that will be added, that we want to add above an you know, ONOS system. And also, we have our final goal is the, the mesh system, not 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 end-to-end uh, -end connection. We want to full mesh, you know, connection between between uh, each endpoint, and also we want to in, you know combine the transponder with the OLT and make it together. So that will be the the next step that we we are now aiming at. So actually, not everything is you know so smooth. We still have we are still facing some some challenges this is here. So this slide briefly sh shares some challenges is here. So actually the journey to the software integration of multi-vendor disaggregated device is very complex work, you know. Many vendors, many integration will happen. So lots of feature should be realized among, you know, multi-vendor devices, especially when we thinking about, when we think about discovery Pass computation, power control, you know, lots of implementation is still lacking. So we have to put more effort on this point. And also common open inter, uh, the, the common open API is still, we have some basic function, but still more work should be, should be added to this uh, project. So TAPI is the most uh, possible candidate, but it seems that it's still lacking of some some part from the software integration perspective. So currently, ODTM project is actively discussing with the TAPI community to go to make win-win uh, relationship and go with each other. So this is the second point that we want to achieve in the following days. And last but not least is the, the configuration itself. So we put configuration from the owners controller to the device. However, you know, we have to control lots of like transaction, configuration, configuration state management, and so on. So actually, it's a not actually a very easy work. However, currently the, the ONO system, but I don't think it's, it's, only, it's only the ONO system and other SDN, SDN controller is still lacking this kind of functions. So we, we are thinking about, you know, to to put more effort on the implementation and to make these features better in, inside ONOS. So this is the challenging. We have some challenging, but we hope that more, uh, more organization, parties, and people can join this project and help us to solve these challenges and make things better and finally put the, the, the solution to the production. So I think that's the, that's the purpose why I I sent, sent here to give the presentation. And uh, I still have uh, five minutes, uh, so in the end, I would like to share some you know, activities inside NTT Communications uh, regarding the transport SD1. So this picture shows the, the N2N view inside our network. So we have uh, metro networks here and aggregated network and co-network, and also we have the global network. So actually the network is divided into several domain. And also from the vertical viewpoint, we have the layer, layer one network like w, uh, WDM, OGN devices. However, we also have layer two and layer, layer three device like L2 switch device, NPLS device, and so on. So our mission is to, create, is to create a solution that can configure and manage the multi, multiple layer, multiple domain, and multiple vendor uh, environment. So that's, I think, is the final goal of these activities. And also, as I mentioned in the beginning, so network is just a tool that connecting data center and so on. So whenever, you know, like NFV is available, so it will become very flexible. So 
on the transport network area, we still need you know, flexible uh, control of the network itself. So we need more function like dynamic resource management, dynamic bandwidth control, and dynamic routing functions. So as only as we solve this kind of, uh, we implement the functions, then we can, we can achieve the merits such as shorten lead time and optimize the network uh, quality and the simple op operations. And then we can com combine with the applications that are deployed in the cloud, deployed in, 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 in the each cloud, and deployed in the on-premise devices, then create a total solution and a total flexible solution to the end user. I think that's the final goal that we want to achieve in the following days. And also this picture shows the current uh, status uh, inside our uh, production network. So what we have achieved is that, so in the access domain, so we have already, it's, a, it's already production ready. So we, to be frankly, in this space, we use the vendor proprietary uh, solutions in, in, this, in this area. But now we are seeking for new solution for, for the packet, packet and optical transport domain. So in, this is a new area, and that, that's why we want to put more efforts and put more, more new technologies into this space. So we want to introduce this aggregated network here, and we want to introduce you know, third-party SD, SDN controller an open source controller into this area. So this is the, this is the potential space for, the, for this project. So this is a very interesting picture uh, showing so how open source and how this aggregation help us you know, to, you know, to, uh, to decrease the, the lead, lead time that uh, in our development cir uh, circle. So a few years ago, just like I showed here, so everything is puppetry. Puppetry device, all in one device, puppetry controller. And we use legacy interface such as TL1, CLI to control the device. And as shown here, one vendor has a device solution, controller solution, and totally locked in. So when we want to have some changes in our systems, it's, it, most, in most cases, it takes about you know, more than you know, around one year to add new function to the, to the system. So this is not ideal uh, situation from the perspective of an operator. However, in the middle, this is the current status. Although we are still locked by vendor here, or in one devices, proprietary devices. However, we introduce SDN controller here. So as I show here, we introduce new interface like NetConf, Yang, and also we introduce third party SDN, SDN, SDN controller here. So in this way, we, that's I think what's the origin of SDN. So the control plan and data plan is totally uh, aggregated in this moment. So we can use the APIs to do some automation and the application lead time has been decreased, you know, to around three months. Last but not least is the, is the goal that we are aiming at. So we're aiming at this aggregation here, open and common data model here, open source, and you know, this aggregation of the device and use an open source controller so that our engineer can join the project, can develop in the application by themselves. So in this way, we can dramatically decrease the, the lag time you know, in the development. So I think I'm running out of time. So, but anyway, the, the message that I want to, come, I, I, I want to, uh, to transfer here is that we want to you know, contribute in the open source uh, activities and make you know open source solution like Onos production ready, and also to create some ecosystems inside ONF 
like to bring more and more devices you know, into, the, into this ecosystem so that the whole community will be more active and we will have more opportunities and more options for choosing the solution. Okay, that's all for my presentation. I think I'm running out of time, so if you have any questions, please contact me offline. Thank you. <laughs>